Hello and welcome to SCN Corporate Connect. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ Market Site in Times Square. And with me today, Dan McClory, uh, the Managing Director and Head of Equity Capital Markets for Balstead Securities. Uh, welcome. Thanks, Jane. And you're in a really interesting space, I think, in finance right now with the crowdfunding. I guess give me an overall uh, description of what Balstead is doing right now. Certainly. So Balstead's an investment bank. We target the lower middle market and small cap companies. We're typically raising between five and $50 million for those companies publicly, privately, but most recently we've used a new regulation from the SEC called Regulation A+. They shortened it to uh, Reg A or Reg A+, which somebody told me does not stand for a form of dance music coming out of your <laughs> um, it's, it's a less onerous means of applying to have your securities ultimately registered. Um, but we culminated one of these registrations under Reg A with a listing on NASDAQ. So we were the underwriter to the first ever IPO of a company that listed on NASDAQ from Regulation A+. Okay, and this is Adam Mane. I remember a meeting of the CEO and, and the executives there. A clean energy company converts diesel buses to electric. And it was a, that's really been a home run for the company, for you, for investors. It has. Yeah. I think it's a great example, Jane, of how one of the things from the JOBS Act back in 2012 has really come to pass, and that's getting capital from people that have it to people that don't. And the people that don't are the small and mid-sized businesses. And Automani is a company that was pre-revenue, hadn't even sold its first product, and they were able to achieve a, in excess of a $300 million valuation for the IPO. That was done at $5 a share. The stock went all the way to $18 a share. It's somewhere in the 11s or 12s right now. So a lot of value creation as a result of that right. IPO. And, and really just because of the space that they're in and all the move that we're seeing globally toward zero emissions and electric vehicles and they're really in a good space at a good time. I think you're right. Anything clean and green, especially things that, were, that are related to NOx and emissions and certainly something like school buses where every district, every state has programs that are targeting reducing noxious emissions that are exposed to children. Okay, so Adam Ame, a, a big success, but you have other companies too that you're working with. Um, I mean, kind of tell me about the whole process and where are they? Do you have any more that will be uh, having an IPO soon or what's the, sure. what's the status of this? Yeah, just before we leave Adam Ame for one minute, I just want to point out a couple of important distinctions sure. that thus far it's the best performing IPO in 2017, yes. which is an important distinction. Mm -hmm. uh, again, it's had the most value creation of any IPO that's been done this year in terms of additional market cap in excess of several hundred million dollars. Um, and it's left the company in a very good position for mergers and acquisitions, other companies have approached them, possible additional fundraisings that the company might undertake. Uh, so <clears throat> it's not just do your Reg A Plus offering and have a nice life, be funded and forgotten. There, there is absolutely an afterline. Uh, and to your point, we like to say the email has been ringing off the hook. So every company that aspires to do what Automani did and others has been contacting us. Uh, and we talked to them about three main requirements we have. We're looking for great companies, incredible management teams, a uh, proprietary product or service um, or a solution, uh, and also a company that's got a large addressable market. Okay. Number two, we're looking for what we call investor momentum. So companies that already have investors who have supported the company, that will continue to invest in the company, and when we create a liquidity event like an IPO, they will participate in that. Okay. Uh, and the third, which is a very interesting novelty of Regulation A, is social media marketability. So we're looking for companies that could resonate in social media, that could benefit from having their, mar their marketing of their offering done in a compliant way on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. And there are many companies out there that can do that. And you would think Automani being in the B2B business yeah. would not be a candidate, but they most certainly were. They were. Yeah, I mean, a lot of interest in that space right now. And especially, you know, you're seeing Europe especially move toward uh, zero emissions. And I mean, it's going to be huge. So, it is. Um, so uh, talk to me a little bit about um, just the, the process of like your, your um, website, flashfunders.com. So can somebody go there? Can they buy shares in a company, um, find out more about a company? How does that work? That's a, that, that's a great point. So uh, one of the most recent acquisitions for Bowstead was a major crowdfunding portal called Flash Funders. That's plural, flashfunders.com. Um, and this is a site that has, it's a transfer agent, it's a securities clearing firm, it's an escrow company, and it's regulated by FINRA, which is the Financial Industry Regulatory Association. So it is a crowdfunding portal, but it can offer much more. There are crowdfunding offerings, 
There is Regulation D offerings, which are the more traditional private placements of securities. Um, then there is also the Regulation A. So as you mentioned, investors can go to flashfunders.com. They can look at a number of different deals that are being presented there. And in the case of Adomani, they were able to click and register as an investor, complete the whole process online, including verification of income, assets, completion of subscription forms, and in a very friction-free way, subscribe to that offering. Wow. So we really see that as the, as the future of sure. the capital markets. Well, and, and it opens it up to people, too, uh, who have wanted to be in an IPO and never been able to participate before because they're not with a big bank or they don't have a large amount of money to invest. So it de democratizes the whole process of investing. In You're absolutely public, right. Yeah. That's, a, that's a great word for it, too, the democratization. <laughs> And instead of the smoke-filled rooms of Wall Street and the uh, Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan deciding who gets to go public, who doesn't, what the price will be, what it won't, how much money you'll raise, when you'll raise it, this really puts a lot of control in the hands of the companies that are seeking capital. It really allows them at their pace, on their schedule, and as long as they can bring in their supportive foundational investors to decide, I'm going to be on NASDAQ and here's how it's going to happen. And as an investment bank and an underwriter, those are the companies we're looking for. And I mean, it's great for the companies, too, who haven't been able to raise unless you've been a certain level of finance or whatever. Um, and here they're able to do that. So it's good for investors, good for the small businesses as well. And we see it especially, Jane, with companies who have considered the venture capital route, which is normally very dilutive. So they will look at very low valuations. They will most certainly want to have control and then they will begin to dictate how that company is going to come, if, that, if at all, to the I capital see. markets in the future. This, using Regulation A+, puts the company in the driver's seat, puts them in a control position, and as long as they execute on their business plan and they're able to bring in the minimum amount of investors for their offering, the sky's the limit. Okay, so you really think this is the future of where we're going, and I just think the public needs to know that it exists and how they can take part in this. Absolutely. A lot of it is awareness. And there has been awareness of crowdfunding and Regulation A+, but until the first deals ended up on a stock exchange, like Adamani did on NASDAQ, there was some skepticism, uh, some holding back, especially on the part of larger investors who said, well, we're not really sure about this Reg A+. It's kind of like uh, an IPO with training wheels. Uh, is it really going to work? Uh, all three of the companies that have listed on senior exchanges, there's now two on NASDAQ and one that went first on the New York Stock Exchange, they have all performed incredibly well. There's been large amounts of liquidity in the trading of their shares and for the most part there's been a lot of value creation so they've really proven the point okay great i mean it's great it's great to, for you know all parties involved so flashfunders.com right somebody can go there and find out more about the companies that you have and as well as companies in the future absolutely and we will be taking all of our traditional investment banking clients that we would normally market the ipo in a traditional way like a live road show and meetings and we'll be putting those companies online and those offerings online so that, as you mentioned, the democratization of these deals is, is going to take place. And it's a great site. It's extremely easy to navigate. Uh, you know, I believe there's going to be a generational shift. And, you know, my children and certainly their, my children's children will not participate in stock offerings in the normal way, uh, at the golf course, with their broker. They will go online. They will find what they like. They will decide to invest or not. And that's how these offerings are going to be funded. Very interesting. Thank you so much, uh, Dan McClory uh, from Balstead Securities, for sharing this story with us. And I know a lot of people are really looking forward to learning more about this whole process and how it works. So thank you so much. You're welcome, Jane. Always and, a pleasure to be with you. And thank you as well for joining us on SCN Corporate Connect. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ Market Site. Have a great day.